Okay guys, so start na natin yung lesson natin sa complex analysis. So lesson 3, it's all about vectors, modulus, and complex conjugate. Okay, so dito muna tayo mag-focus for the meantime. So unahin natin. So kung naalala nyo yung z-plane, so na-drawing ko na karaan. Ito yung ating z-plane. So ito yung sa ating imaginary part. Ito yung sa ating... Uh, real part. So, naalala niyan. Ngayon, sabi nila, number 1, let Z be a non-zero complex number such that Z is equal to X comma Y for all X and Y element na real number. So, una, lalagyan natin siya ng parang uh, igagrap natin. So, kung saan siya ilalagay. So, assuming dito ko nilagay si point Z. Okay? So, si point Z ay mayroong graph na ganyan. So, tandaan. So, lahat ng complex number are meron silang graph or may location sila dun sa ating z-plane. So, pero si 0 kama 0 din may location siya yung center natin o siya yung nasa origin natin. So, tandaan. So, another, similar din naman sa z-plane when it comes sa mga uh, sign ng quadrant. So, for example, dito sa quadrant 1, dito is positive, positive. Okay? So, dito is negative, positive. Dito is negative, negative. And dito is positive, negative. So, similar pa rin yan dyan. So, tandaan yan guys ha. So, for example, assuming na meron tayong z is equal to 2, comma, negative 3. So, pag ginrap natin yan, so that is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So, ito yung sa x, ito yung sa y. So, probably that is 2, comma, negative 3. So, dito yan. So, ito yung 2. Ito yung negative 3. So, pag ginarap mo yun, lalagyan mo yun ng ganyan. So, parang direction. So, parang arrow. So, to denote na ito si Z. Okay. So, ngayon, pag nagkagrap ko or magpaplat ka ng ating mga, mod, ng mga complex numbers sa Z plane, ganyan yung gagawin nyo. Okay. Next is number 2. If Z1 is X, 1. Ah, sorry. X sub 1, Y sub 1. And Z2 is X sub 2, Y sub 2. Then, Z1 sa Z2 is ano yung jura? So, kung naalala nyo, may equivalent na ito sa atin. This is equivalent sa x sub 1 plus x sub 2, comma y sub 1 plus y sub 2. So, pero ano ba tinatanong dito? Ano yung itsura niya sa graph? Okay, so, i-graph ko siya dito assuming na ito yung ating complex number. So, ito yung z-plane. Okay, so assuming dito si z1. Okay, then dito si Z2. Okay, so ano ngayon si Z1 plus Z2? Yung Z1 plus Z2 is yung graph dito sa gitna. So, somewhere extension siya doon. So, ulitin. So, dito somewhere extension siya. So, ito yung Z1 plus Z2. So, siya yung usual, yung uh, parang uh, diagonal nung ating mapuform na parallelogram dyan. So, usually kasi ganito mangyari. Ito yung Z1. Ito yung Z2. Okay. So, ito yung Z1. Okay. So, magkakaroon dyan ng form na parang ganun. Okay. So, yan yung Z1 plus Z2. Okay. So, para siyang parallelogram. Or actually, parang rhombus kung titignan. So, yung Z1 plus Z2 is yung parang diagonal o yung long diagonal nung ating uh, graph pag sa Z-plane. So, tandaan din yan. So, baka lumabas sa exam, ano yung itsura niya pag nag-add ka. Okay, so kung gusto mo i-verify mo rin, mag-add ka ng dalawang complex number. So, i-plot mo, then may kita mo kung nasaan siya. Okay, so, yun lang naman yung mga drawing uh, pag atin sa mga vectors. So, sabi nga, vectors as magnitude and direction. So, for the meantime, dahil lesson 3, mag-modulus muna ako. Hindi ko pa bibigyan ng, hindi ko pa siya bibigyan ng uh, direction. Lalagyan ko muna ng magnitude. Okay, so definition. So, the modulus or absolute of the complex number Z is equal to X plus IY, denoted by that symbol. Okay, uh, that is para absolute of Z. So, again, modulus yung base dyan, or pag madami moduli. Okay, so, is the non-negative real number. Okay, it is the non-negative real number square root of x squared plus y squared or square root ng real part of z is square plus imaginary part of z is square. Okay, so ang gagawin mo is i-add mo yung square ng real part sa imaginary part din kunin mo yung square root, yun yung kanyang modulus. So, wag na rin natin yan.
Okay, so assuming ulit, ito si complex number. Ito si Z1. Okay, so kung papansin mo, pwede kasi ako mag-form dito ng ganyan. So, ito yung sa may y part, ito yung sa x part. So, parang ito yung hypotenuse niya. So, ano ibig sabihin? Yung hypotenuse, siya yung modulus natin. Okay? O siya yung magnitude ng complex number pag ginarap natin yung z-plane. Okay? So, tandaan yung part na yan. So, for example, uh, I have z is equal to 2 plus 3i. So, what is the modulus? The modulus of z, so the modulus of z is equal to the square root 2 squared, sorry, that is 2 squared plus 3 squared. Okay, and that is equal sa square root of 4 squared, ah uh, sorry, 4 plus 9, which is equal sa square root of 13. So, that is the modulus of Z. So, baka may nagtatanong sir, pwede ko po bang approximate? Okay, so pwede pa na may approximate. So, 2 decimal, okay na sa akin din, that is square root of 13. Check ko lang din. Square root of 13 is 3.61. Okay, so that is 3.61 pag kinuha natin. So, pwede naman sa akin yung may square root. Pero syempre, pag usapang problem solving na, doon na tayo sa may meron decimal para mas uh, may value talaga tayo mabigay. Okay, so that is the module. So, another W. That's a W. W is the set or is the is the RCF in the form 2 comma negative 5. Okay, so what is the modulus of W? The modulus of W is equal to square root of 2 squared plus negative 5 squared. Okay, and that is equal sa square root of 4 plus 25, which is equal sa square root of 29. So the modulus of W is square root of 29 or approximately that is square root of 29 that is 5.39 Okay, so sabi nung calc ni sir, that is 5.39 So, kung titignan mo, napaka-basic lang kumuha ng modulus. So, tandaan nyo na So, importante to from now on kasi kung di mo alam kunin si modulus hindi mo kayang kunin yung polar form, yung trigonometric form, saka yung exponential form nya Okay, so next is the distance between two complex number. So, sabi let Z and W element ng complex number such that Z is equal to A comma B and W is C comma D. Then, the absolute distance of Z minus W is equal to the square root of A minus Z raised to 2 plus B minus D raised to 2. So, kung may kukumpara mo siya para siyang distance formula. Okay, so ganun din dito. So, dahil nga ilalagay ko sa plane or sa may Z plane yung ating complex number, dalawang complex number. Siyempre, ganun din. Kaya ko rin kunin yung distance between two complex number. So, assuming ito yung drawing. So, assuming ito si Z. Somewhere nandiyan dyan. Then, somewhere nandito, nandito si W. Okay, so yung distance between sa kanilang dalawa. Ito yung modulus ng Z minus W. Or pwede ko sabihin modulus ng W minus Z. Okay, so kahit sino naman mauna dyan, okay lang. Kasi nga naka-square din naman sa loob yan pag sa formula. Okay, so walang pinagkaiba yan. So tandaan nyo na, the distance between two complex number, ang gagawin ko lang, kukunin ko yung difference ng real part square, plus difference ng imaginary part, square, then add ko yun, then take the square root, yun yung distance between two complex number okay, so since nga parehas din siya parang sa rectangular coordinate uh, plane natin, so parehas siya dun okay, so proceed tayo dun sa susunod lagyan natin example yung distance na yan so example, so find the distance between z and w or the absolute dist the absolute distance between z minus w if z is equal to 3 plus 2i and w is equal to negative 3i plus 2. Okay, so gagawin natin, identify natin dyan yung formula or i-use natin yung formula. So, arrange ko lang konti itong w para hindi nakakalito. Baka kasi magpalit nyo. That is 2 minus 3i. Okay, so gamit natin yung formula. So, the distance between Z and W is equal to the square root of A minus C, e, that is A minus C, e, so that is 3 minus 2 raised to 2. So, that is the real part. Next, 
plus 2 minus negative 3. Then that is naka square. Pero bakit negative 3? Negative 3 kasi yung imaginary part. Doon. That is 2 minus negative 3. Okay, then expand natin or simplify natin sa loob. That is equal sa 3 minus 2 squared is 1 squared. Okay, plus this is 2 minus negative 3, that is 5. So that is simply 5 squared. So therefore, this is equal sa 1 plus 25 or simply equal sa square root of 26. So ito yung distance nilang dalawa. Okay, so pwede malagay square units. So okay naman na sa akin square, at square root of 26. Okay, so pwede namang lagay mo dito sa dulo parang square units. Okay lang naman yun. Okay, so kung kunin mo pa yung square root nyan, okay lang din naman sa akin. Okay, so ganun lang gamitin yung distance between two complex numbers. So next, for number 2, apply natin konting, lagyan natin ng konting trick. Okay, so for what values of x? Okay, yung absolute value ng z minus w, sorry, hindi na bago ni sir. This is w. For what values of x such that yung z minus w, o yung distance nila is equal to square root of 7, such that si z is x comma 3, si w is 1 comma 5. So, ano pinagka-ib dito sa mula sa given kanina? Dito, given na yung sagot. Okay, so given na yung distance nila, ang inhanap yung value ng x. Okay, so, ulitin ko lang. Ilagay ko dito yung z minus w equal to sa square root ng uh, lagay ko lang dito yung a minus c squared plus b minus d squared. Okay, so note that given yung distance. So, that is square root of 7 equal sa square root of a minus c, that's x minus 1. So, that is x minus 1 squared plus b minus d, that is 3 minus 5. That is 3 minus 5 squared. Okay, next. Square natin yung both side and simplify natin dito sa may right side. Okay, so pag in-square both side, so that is 7 na lang to. Then this is equal sa x minus 1 raised to 2 plus negative 2 squared. Okay, so ganyan na yari. Tinake ko yung square both side o in-square ko both side so, para matanggal yung square root. Next is i-expand natin x minus 1 raised to 2. Then, simplify natin yung iba dyan. Pwede yung simple. That is 7 is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 4. Okay. Then, transpose or by additive property, mag-add tayo ng negative 7 both sides. So, that is 0 is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 5 kasi 1 plus 4 is 5 minus 7. Okay. So, therefore, ano yung value? So, therefore, ano yung resulting? So, that is x squared minus 2x minus 2 so nahanap na ba natin ng values x? no sir hindi pa po natin nahanap so it's either apply natin ng factoring, quadratic formula or completing the square so pinaka safe na lang gamitan si quadratic formula so using quadratic formula that is x is equal to positive negative b tama ba? ay sorry that is negative b positive negative so nakalimutan na sila quadratic formula so, that is negative b positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so check ko na rin. Baka nagkamali ako sa formula. Negative b positive minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so that's the quadratic formula. So, using the formula, so that is negative b, that is negative of negative 2 plus minus square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 okay then times negative 2 all over 2 times 1 so based dito sa given okay next this is equal sa positive 2 positive negative square root of that is 4 plus 8 all over 2 okay then lastly that is equal sa 2 positive negative square root of 12 over 2 then, konting application ng radical natin dati. So, that is equal sa 2 positive negative square root of 4 times 3 over 2. So, pwede ko ilabas yung square root of 4, magiging 2. So, that is 2 positive negative square root of 2, ah sorry, 2 square root of 3 all over 2. Or simply, that is 2 
Ah, sorry, pag na-simplify, that is 1 plus square root of 3 or 1 minus square root of 3. So, ito yung values ng ating x. Okay, so, tandaan yan. Check ko lang din para makita ko kung tama yung solution o tama yung sagot. Okay, so, tama naman yung sagot na nagawa na siya. Okay, so, next is that next definition is the complex number Z represent all the possible points lying on a circle with Z naught. Again, that is Z sub, that, that, hindi Z sub zero basa, Z naught. Okay, Z naught as center and R as radius. Satisfies the equation modulus of Z minus Z naught. So, modulus yan is equal to R. Ayun yung equation. So, parang ng form niya, Z minus yung center equals yung radius. So, paano yan i-drawing, sir? So, ang sinasabi lang ng definition nito, assuming ito yung complex number natin na Z, okay, so, meron yan, meron parang radius, R, okay, then itong part na to, drawing na ko ng circle, so, assuming circle yan, Okay, so, andyan somewhere Z, uh, sorry, ito si Z naught, okay, so, yun yung center, ito yung radius, so, yun yung radius nya, so, by modulus, tapos, ito yung mga point Z, so, sa point Z, nag-along dito, so, for example, ito yung Z naught natin, so, iikot yan sa lahat, meron yan, okay, yun yung complex number, andun lahat ng mga values nya, set of complex numbers, the complex number Z represent all the possible points lying on circle, so, ito yan, andi dito lahat yan sa labas ng yan. Okay, so ngayon, apply natin application yan. So, paano yan ginagawa? Kasi, ang tawag dito is this. So, sa mga susunod ng topic, may kita mo, yung this hindi lang lagi ba sa circle. So, minsan pwede siyang rectangle. So, this pa rin yung tawag sa kanya dito. Tapos, open this siya dito. Usually, dito open this. So, ginawa ko lang wait para magmukha lang circle. Pero, yung totoo, dapat uh, broken line yan. Pag sinircle. Okay, so, tandaan nyo na. So, next natin is yung example nito para mas maintindihan niyo paano siya paano satisfy yung equation niyan. Okay, so ito yung example. So determine the center and radius of the following equation. So number 1, the modulus of z minus 1 plus 3i is equal to 2. Then the modulus of w minus 3i plus 4 is equal to 3. So sir, hindi pa ba yan yung radius? Hindi pa ba obvious yung kita mo na yung center? Actually, kita ko na yung radius pero hindi ko pa kita yung center. Okay, so try natin gawin. So for number 1, that is modulus of z minus 1 plus 3i is equal to 2. So, obviously, kita ko na yung 2. Then, dito sa loob, this is z minus, lalabas ko yung minus. So, magiging 1. Ah, sorry, that is positive 1 na to. Then, minus 3i. Then, equal sa 2. Okay. So, ano ginawa sir? Pinactor out ko yung negative sa loob. Kasi yung form natin is z minus z not. Okay. Equals r. So, kailangan minus yun nasa gitna. So, next is, this is Z minus 1 comma negative 3. Then, equals 2. So, ano ginawa, sir? Ginawa ko lang naman siyang RCF, yung 1 minus 3i. So, therefore, ano yung Z naught? Z naught, o yung kanyang center, is 1 comma negative 3 and with radius equal sa 2. So, ito yung kanyang nagiging sagot. Okay, so ito yung kanyang equation talaga, literal so for number 2 the modulus of w minus 3i plus 4 is equal to 3, so similar yung gagawin natin that is w minus that is 3i minus 4 okay, then equals 3, so arrange konti that is modulus of w minus that is negative 4 comma 3 equals 3. Bakit negative 4, 3? Because that is 3i minus 4. So, negative 4 plus 3i siya. Kaya negative 4, 3 latin siya. So, therefore, ano yung z not? Okay. So, w yun dito. W not is equal sa negative 4, 3. Yan yung center. Then, yung radius is equal to 3. So, ito yung kanyang nagiging sagot. Okay. So, kunyari lang, dinrawing ko. Or pinaas ko, sabi ko, i-drawing nyo. So, pag dinrawing ko si... 
Ah, uh, lagyan natin si 1 na lang. Ito yung for number 1. So, ang center daw is 1 comma negative 3. So, that is 1, 1, 2, 3. So, this is ito yung center. Tapos, ang radius daw is 2. So, meaning, pwede possible na 1, 2, 3. Ito yung ikot. So, gagawa na tayong circle dyan. So, part na yan. So, ayan yung magiging drawing niya. So, make sure na magiging broken line lang yung sa circle, yung around sa circle. So, pag dinrawing mo. So, tandaan mo, lagay mo center, lagay mo radius, tapos ayun na yung drawing niya. Okay, so let's have remark dito. So, ano sabi ng remark? So, the real part of Z is less than or equal sa modulus. Again, that is not absolute value. That is modulus. Modulus of real part of Z. So, ang gagawin ko, kukunin ko yung modulus ng real part of Z lang. Then, less than or equal din sa modulus of Z. Okay, so, example na tayo nyan. Let's say, for example, we have 2 plus 3i. Okay, so what is real part of Z? Real part of Z is equal to 2. Okay, so ano yun naman yung modulus ng real part of Z? Yung modulus ng real part of Z ay equal sa square root of 2 squared plus 0 squared kasi wala namang i. So that is equal only sa 2. Okay, na lastly, ano yung modulus ng Z? Yung modulus ng Z pag kinumpute So, that is square root of 4 plus 9. So, that is square root of 13. Okay. So, obviously, 2 is less than or equal sa 2. Less than or equal sa square root of 13. So, sino satisfy na itong remark na nilagay ni sir? Okay. Yung real part of Z is less than or equal sa modulus ng real part of Z. Less than or equal sa modulus of Z. Okay. So, tandaan yan. Then, next is, kung may triangle inequality tayo sa advanced calculus or sa real numbers, may triangle inequality din tayo dito pero using yung modulus that is the absolute value ng gamit so sabi nga dito the modulus of modulus of z1 minus modulus of z2 is less than or equal sa modulus of z1 plus z2 less than or equal sa modulus ng z1 plus modulus of z2 so pare-parehas lang yan so parang dito ng galing yung triangle inequality natin so pinagkaiba nadagdag dito yung parang remark niya yung corollary niya dati sa advanced calculus Lastly, kung meron tayong madaming complex number, pwede, pwede, pwede rin silang hatiin by triangle inequality. So, yung sum ng madami, pwede individually kunin mo yung modulus. So, note that for n is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, and blah, blah, blah. So, hindi kasi gagana eh, pag si sub 1 lang eh. So, parang kunin mo yung triangle inequality, apply mo yung triangle inequality dun. Ganun lang din, ayun lang din yung magiging sagot. Okay, then proceed tayo dun sa last topic sa lesson na to. Then, ipuprove ko yung sum dito, pero hindi lahat. Tapos, uh, punta tayo sa lesson 4. So, complex conjugate. So, if z is equal to x plus i, y, or z is equal to x, y, for all x, y element na real numbers, the conjugate of z is in the form z bar. Again, yung z bar na yan, or that is a conjugate. Conjugate is equal to x minus i, y in terms of standard form, or z bar is equal to x, negative y. So, kung anong napapansin mo, anong ginagawa pag modulus? Ah, sorry, pag-conjugate. Pag i-conjugate ko yung complex number, kukunin ko yung additive inverse, additive inverse nung imaginary part. Okay, so for example, 2 yun, 2i, gagawin ko negative 2i. Okay, so in drawing, ganito lang yung nangyayari dyan. So, sa ating graph, for example, ito si z is equal to x, y. Yung kanyang z bar, nandito dito lang. So, para lang siyang reflection. In z bar is equal to x, comma, negative y. Nagre-reflect lang siya in terms dito. So, pag nandun tayo sa Mobius transformation, madidiscuss ko rin yun yung mga reflection na yan. So, for the meantime, ito lang muna tayo. Restrict natin dito yan. So, example. For example, we have z is equal to 2 plus 3i. Favorite ni sir. What is z bar? Z bar is equal to 2 minus 3i. Ganun nga simple. Okay, next. What if W is equal to 2i? Okay, what is the modulus? Uh, what is the conjugate? The conjugate of 2i is equal to negative 2i. Then, let's say we have u. u is equal to 2 comma negative 4. So, u bar or yung conjugate niya is equal to 2 comma positive 4. So, yung second coordinate ginagawang uh, kinukuha yung negative, uh, yung additive uh, inverse niya. Okay, so tandaan yan. So, ganyan lang kasimple yung pagkuha ng ating conjugate. Okay, so now, kuha tayo ng mga properties ng conjugate. So, properties of complex conjugate, number one. 
Z1 or the modulus of Z1 plus Z2 is equal to the modulus of Z1 plus modulus of Z2. Okay, also, yung difference nila equal din dun sa difference ng mga modulus nila. Ah, sorry, conjugate. Sorry. So, the conjugate of Z1 plus Z2 is equal to the conjugate of Z1 plus conjugate of Z2. Then, the conjugate of difference is equal to the difference of their conjugate. So, ganun yung nangyari. So, try ko itong 1. So, ipoproof ko yung 1. So, ito yung proof. So, consider natin si Z1 plus Z2. Okay, so, maglit tayo dito. Let Z1 is equal to A comma B. Z2 is equal to Z comma D. Okay, so, para may paggagalingan tayo. So, from the definition or from the assumption that is modulus of A comma B plus C comma D. Okay. Then, by the addition of two complex number in RCF, that is equal sa modulus of A plus C comma B plus D. Okay. Then, apply natin yung conjugate. So, okay. So, that is the conjugate. So, that is A plus C then negative of B plus D. So, ginawa kong negative yung real part. So, this is equal sa A plus C, comma negative B minus D. Okay. Next, pag iwalain ko sila ulit, that is equal sa A, pag iwalain ko, that, that is equal sa A, comma negative B, okay, then plus C, comma negative D. So, pag pinag-add mo yan, ayun yung lalabas. Okay, next. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng A comma negative B? So, that is the modulus or that is the conjugate of Z sub 1. So, therefore, this is conjugate ng Z sub 1 plus conjugate ng C sub 2. And this is done. Sorry, nababanggit ko lagi yung modulus na yun. Okay, so proceed pa tayo sa mga further properties. Okay, so yung 2, hindi ko ipuprove. The left ko as exercise in yan. So, pacheck mo na sa akin kung tama. Okay, so proceed pa tayo sa ibang properties. Okay, so let's have further properties pa ng complex conjugate. So, number 3, yung product ng C sub 1, Z2, o yung conjugate ng Z sub 1 times C sub 2 is equal to the conjugate of Z1 times conjugate of Z2. Next, yung quotient, ganun din. Kung nadidistribute ko din yung conjugate, provided na yung W is non-zero, complex number. Then, number 5, so medyo kakaiba. That is, Z plus Z bar is equal to 2X, or 2X comma 0. Okay, then 6 is Z minus Z bar is equal to 2IY or simply equal sa 0 comma 2Y. Then number 7, dalawa yan. Yung real part ng Z is equivalent na sa Z plus Z, Z bar over 2. And imaginary part of Z is equal to Z minus Z bar over 2I. Then 8, Z times Z bar is equal to a modulus of Z raised sa 2. Then yung modulus of Z raised to N is parang papasok lang yung N sa loob ng modulus natin. Okay, so, gagawin ko dyan yung 5, 6, 7, and 8. Yung iba, maririm. So, yung iba, pwede maging exercise, pwede mapunta sa mga assignment or activity. Latin. So, proceed tayo. So, ito yung for number 5. So, tanggalin ko na ito. So, for number 5, that is Z plus Z bar is equal to 2x or simply 2x comma 0 ok so consider natin ito yung proof so consider si z plus z bar ok so assuming nga ilet natin na si z is equal to x comma y ok so note that this is equal sa x comma y plus x comma negative y Okay, so kasi complex conjugate isa. Next, by addition, this equals sa x plus x comma y minus y. So, real part sa real part, imaginary part sa imaginary part. So, therefore, this is equal sa 2x comma 0 or simply pag ginawa ang standard form, that is 2x. So, therefore, this is done. Nakawa ko yung 2x na yun. Okay, so ganun siya kasimple. So, for number 6, So, sabi, Z minus Z bar is equal to 2 IY. 
Okay, so consider ulit natin. Ito yung proof. So, consider si z minus z bar. So, that is equal sa x, comma y, minus x, comma negative y. Okay, next, that is equal sa x minus x, then comma y minus negative y. And that is equal sa x minus x is 0, then that y minus negative y is 2y. Or simply, pag ginawa natin standard form, that is 2y, i, which is yung 2iy. So, therefore, this is done. Okay, so ganun lang siya kasimple. So, next natin is si number 7. So, kunin ko yung rail part. So, anong sabi na number 7? 7, yung rail part of z is equal sa z plus z bar over 2. Okay, so gagawin ko lang yung sa may right hand o yung sa right hand side. Tapos, patunayan natin siya yung rail part. Okay, so consider natin so, ito yung proof. So, consider si z plus z bar over 2. So, this is equal sa, I think this is x comma y plus x comma negative y all over 2. Okay, next. That is equal sa x plus x comma y minus y all over 2. Two. Okay, then that is equal sa 2x, comma, 0, all over 2. Note, hindi ko pa pwede divide kasi standard form yung ilalim na nasa taas RCF. So, yung nasa taas, dapat gagawin kong, uh, gagawin kong standard form. So, yung nasa taas, magiging 2x plus 0i over 2. Or simply, this is equal sa x. Okay, so note, kung yung z natin is equal to x, comma y, Note that yung x is the real part of z. And that is done. Okay, so ganun siya kasimple. The next is number 8. Sa inyo na yung isang part ng number 7. So, z times z bar is equal to modulus of z squared. Okay, so mas madali siguro kung dito mag-start sa z times z bar. Tama. So, proof. So, z times z bar is equal to x comma y multiplied by x comma negative y. Okay? And that is equal sa, uh, ano yun? That is equal sa uh, first, or first part, uh, sorry, first coordinate and second coordinate. So, that is x squared minus x squared then second coordinate that is negative y squared. Okay, then comma, that is outer, then inner. So, that is negative xy, okay, plus xy. Okay, and that is equal sa x squared plus y squared, comma, 0. Okay, then pag standard form, this is equivalent sa x squared plus y squared. Okay, so, kung napapansin mo, naalala nyo, si modulus of z is equal sa square root of x squared plus y squared. So, pag tinake ko yung square both side, this is modulus of z raised sa 2. Tapos magiging x squared plus y squared. Okay, so, therefore, this is equal sa modulus of z squared. And that is done. Ito yung ginamit ko na idea. Okay, so... Ngayon yung idea nung complex conjugate pag pinuprove. So, yung mga naiwan kayo ng bahala, libas exercise na rin. Okay, so proceed tayo dun sa lesson 4 natin sa complex number.